Hey, long time no see. This isn't gonna be a full hunting grounds episode. This is just something I wanted to share with you guys. Um, not necessarily to prove a point, more like to make a point. I know it sounds kind of weird. Just take a look at my health. It's not nice. It's it's just, it hurt. Oh, that really hurts. So again, I'm not here to to, to prove anything or change anyone's mind. It's the internet. You can't do that because you're dealing with humans and humans. The, the kryptonite of the human is admitting that they're wrong. So I'm not gonna try. The, the waking up and still being a part of this species is a nightmare. Please someone help. Help. Please. So I got killed, right? You saw that Chikage destroy. It melted away my life bar. So the same guys again, a couple minutes later, he switches to the Rakuyo still. I would say an even better weapon than the Chikage. So this overleveled co-oper does amazing damage. Look at that, one hit and half of my health is just gone. However, why am I showing you this, right? What is the what is the point? What is the point? Well, look, he got parried and boom, and he's down. He's dead. He's done for. So what is the point of sharing this very short video with you? Well, it's very old school for a lot of people to still believe that, you know, if you invade or you, even in a 1v1, if you fight someone that has gems and they do a lot of damage to you in Bloodborne PvP, that you just can't win, you know? It's impossible, you can't do it. Um, again, I'm not trying to prove anything, I'm just saying there are reasons why I believe that is a, a very bad way of thinking, because uh, take a look at it. The Chikage, the Rakuyo, both are extremely, extremely powerful weapons for PvE and PvP, especially for PvP. So even if these people have the gems and the damage, because look at here, the host does respectable damage, very good damage. I feel every hit. His co oper <laughs> he is able to one-shot or two-shot me, easy so the problem with that is that they are being carried by the power of their weapons and their gems and in, in this case the host is probably being carried by the Rakuyo his co oper is carrying the host with both the weapon and the gems so the problem with that is that they depend on that to carry them and to push them through any possible encounter so then they fight someone like me, and then this guy gets his co-oper killed, and then it's lights out, right? Because they're being carried, they're not doing it with the way that they play the game, with their own skill. I don't want to be that guy, it's like, oh, skill is the only thing that matters. But in this particular case, it kind of does, because even if it's a 2v1, even a 3v1, I would argue you can still fight and you can still win an invasion or the 1v1 or whatever. You can still do it. If you're good enough, if you turn off the offensive play and you become more wary of things and you play more defensively and you play smart, you can win. It's, it's just, you can. So, guys, please, if you're on the fence, try out Bloodborne PvP. Don't be scared. Just treat it like a challenge. Face it head on like a true hunter. All right, blood tinge strength character coming up next in the next hunting grounds. See you then.